Hi my loving kids, hope you are doing well. Today I am going to teach you a very important lesson that is Microsoft Word 2016. This is the last lesson in your keyboard book. Let's see what is Microsoft Word 2016. Have you heard about Microsoft Word? Word, the Word software? Yes. What is Microsoft Word 2016? Microsoft Word 2016 is a word processing application that allows you to create a variety of documents. Word processing software include letters, memorandums, faxes, mail merge reports, one page flyers, emails. Word processing software that is designed for the in entry and editing and printing of document. Then let's see how to create the document. Now I'm going to share my screen and let's see what are the Word 2016 features. Okay kids, now I am in my desktop. Now I am going to open Word 2016 software. Let's see how to open Word document software. You click on start. Now you can type Word 2016. Now you can see for then when you open Word for the first time, the start screen will appear. From here, I will be able to create new document. We can choose template also. Then you can click offline. This is a template, Word document template. You can select template or you can select blank document. This area called backstage view. That is a backstage view. Now I am selecting blank document and double click open. This is a start screen located and select blank document, double click and open the word interface. Now we can learn more about features of MS Word 2016. First one, file tab. The file tab is present in the upper left corner of the MS Word 2016 window. This contains a list of options such as Open, Save, Save as, Print, etc. Now I am go back. You can see another Main tabs, Home tab, Insert tab, Design tab, Layout tab, Reference, Mailings, Preview and View. This is title bar. Title bar appears on top of MS Word 2016 window. It displays the name of the program and the active document. Right? When you save this document, automatically change document name. Right? Now we'll see how to save Word document. You can click File tab, Save as. Select Browse. After that, you can open File Explorer. Select Location. Select Documents. And File Name. I can give Grade 2. Now, you can save it. You can click the save button. Okay kids, can you see that? Is it my title by its change? Grade 2. Right? Now, next one. We can see quick access toolbar. Quick access toolbar. 
The quick access toolbar appears on the upper left corner of the MS Word 2016 window. It contains buttons for commonly used op options such as Save, Undo and Redo button. You can add New. Or you can add Open button. Next one, Ribbon. The ribbon below the title bar the title bar the ribbon appears below the title bar the ribbon is divided into tab such as home insert page layout reference mailing preview and view each tab has several group several group look at this i'm going to the insert tab and after that you can see so many tools right once again i'm go back home tab each tab has several group those group contain various option using in ms word 2016 next one ruler look at this kids it don't have a ruler now i can add ruler in our word document i am using view tab and you can see show group i am select i tick ruler then display ruler ruler measure the length and width and shows the margin why we use that length create the length and width and shows the margin next one scroll bar scroll bar is long thin strip with arrow and sliding section on the edge of the window there are two scroll bars horizontal scroll bar and vertical scroll bar Horizontal scroll bar it used for shifting the screen display left or right. And vertical scroll bar used for shifting the screen display up or down. To display up or down. Next on work area. Work area is the area in the document window where you type the text. Work area is the area in the document window where you type the text. Next one, it's very important part. Cursor. Cursor is the blinking Vertical line in the work area that shows the location. What is that? Cursor is the blinking vertical line in the work area that shows the location. Next one, status bar. Next we can see at the bottom of the MS Word window, there is the status bar. Here you can see cursor position indicating the page number and the word count and the spelling or grammar checking icon. In the status bar to your right hand side you can see read mode, print layout, web layout, next one zoom slider. You can zoom in. To get a close up view of your file or zoom out to see more of the web page at the reduced size. Okay kids, now I guess you have an idea about MS Word. Why we use MS Word? To create letters, memorandums, faxes, 
and emails. Now let's see how to change text format. Text format. First of all, you can highlight the area when you edit it. Now I'm going to font group use. This is a font group. You can see this is a font face. I can use font face like that. What do you want to like? You can appear in this area. The next one font size. You can change font sizes like that. And the next one bold. Bold means especially we are using highlight headings. Why we use bold to highlight text. I'm right here heading. Now I can change font face and after that I'm apply bold. You can see it. It's highlight in a bold area and I can underline icon. If you want to underline the text, you can use underline tool and after that you can change font size like that. And very important part here, you can see text effect. Text effect. You can see text effect. You can select text effect first. And after that here, you can type specially. We can use text effect to create birthday card, invitation, right? We are using text effect, right? And after that, you can change text effect color. Go into the text color and change colors also. Right. The next one, highlighter. Highlighter. Highlighter means text highlight. Right? Then first of all you can highlight in area and use highlight tool text color highlight like that. Now you know that how to change font size and use font face using bold underline and text effect now after when you complete the document you can save the document you can use file tab and use the save as and browse click browse open file explorer Select the location and you can add file name and click save button. When you complete your document, you can close it. Use the close button and close 